This is another quick tutorial on how to make a neon sign in Anime Studio. I've made an open sign, a neon open sign that's represented as off right now. And to make this look like it's on, we're going to duplicate the layer by just clicking this button here in the layers palette. I'll call this light on. And then to see what I'm doing, I'm going to turn the uh, bottom layer off. And I'm going to select uh, Shape Select Tool, or you can hit Q. I'm going to select the blue, holding down Shift, select the other blue, go up to the fill, select a lighter blue color, and then hit OK. And we're also going to go to the effect and put a soft edge around it, which is going to make it look like it's glowing. Hit OK. And then we're going to do the same thing for the open letters. Click on the O, hold down Shift, select the rest of the layers, go to the fill, select a brighter red, hit OK, and also put a soft edge around that, hit OK. And then the last thing we want to do is double click on the light on layer and select under the layer blending mode, select add and hit OK. Then I'll turn the bottom layer back on. So when I render this, this is what the sign will look like when it's turned on. If I turn that layer off and render, that's what it'll look like when it's off. So to make this flicker, what we need to do is create one more layer and we'll click here in the layers palette and we're going to make a bone and left click and drag the light on layer up into the bone layer and it'll shift over to the right like this. Now clicking the bone layer we're going to come up here and add a bone and you can put this anywhere you want it doesn't matter it's not going to show up in the animation and draw that and we're also going to click on the bone strength tool, click on the bone and left drag it until it's gone. We don't want it to accidentally move anything. Now that we have that, and we have the bone layer selected, we're going to go up to window and actions. And what we're going to do is create a smart bone action. And this bone is called B1. So we'll click Smart Bones, click a new Smart Bone Action, we'll name it B1, which is what this bone is called. It's important you name it the same as the name of the bone. Hit OK. And you'll see the timeline turn blue. This just indicates that the Smart Bone is active. So with that selected, we'll hit the Transform tool, which is this right here, the bone with the little curved arrow. And we're going to drag that to the right. And under the lights on layer, double click that and uncheck visible. This is going to make it uh, turn off. So we'll click OK. We'll go back into the main timeline by double clicking it up here. And select the bone layer one more time. And now we want to make a uh, smart bone that turns it back on, the layer back on. So we will, under smart bones, we'll click new. And this time we want to type in B1 space 2 because this is our second action. We still want to use this, but we want to make a second action. So hit OK. And then with the uh, transform bone tool selected, drag to the left, let go, and we don't need to do anything else because it's already visible. And double click into the timeline. And now the only thing that we have to do to make this animation random is to go to frame one, the left click and drag in your timeline to frame one, click on the bone with the bone selection tool, transform tool, I'm sorry, and with this keyframe down here, the red bone, select bone angle, 
left click on it and then right click on it and then go down to noisy. What this is going to do is sh just randomly change the angle of where this bone is pointing. So if it's pointing over to the right, it'll turn off. If it shakes over to the left, it'll turn on. So if I play the animation, you'll see it just randomly generates uh, flickering light. And to change that frequency or how often it, it shakes, just change the scale. The scale dictates how much the angle or the bone actually moves. So if I turn it up, you can see it moves really slow, which doesn't look that good. So you just got to find a good place that's right for you. I kind of like that. Maybe a little faster. I'm just going to turn it down to 2.6. That looks good. So I'll go ahead and render this out and show you the final product. Okay, so here is the final animation. And you can see it just randomly generates flickering light. So you can use that for neon signs or street lights or any type of horror movie effect where you need flickering light. And that's it. So just give me an email if you have any questions.